Welcome to our lecture online. In this problem, we're dealing with the speed or the velocity of an electromagnetic wave in a medium. So how do we approach that? Well, let's, lead to, let's read the problem and see what we need to do. It says that an electromagnetic wave of frequency 5 gigahertz is traveling in a medium whose relative electric permittivity and relative magnetic permeability both are 2. Its velocity in this medium is times 10 to the 7 meters per second. So first of all, it turns out that the fact that they give us the frequency of 5 gigahertz has absolutely no bearing on the problem at all. Kind of confusing. And notice that they use 10 to the 7 meters per second when typically the speed of light or the speed of an electromagnetic wave in a vacuum is 10 to the 8 meters per second. That means that we'll have to make some sort of conversion. Very tricky because if you don't do that, you'll get it wrong even though you did the problem correctly. So what is the principle here that we're dealing with? Well, it turns out that the velocity of an electromagnetic wave in a medium is equal to C divided by the index of refraction. But in this case, they did not give us the index of refraction. So we can also say that the speed of light or the velocity is equal to 1 over the square root of epsilon sub naught times uh, mu sub naught. And actually, instead of V, I can actually write C, the speed of light or the speed of any electromagnetic wave, is equal to that. But the velocity of an electromagnetic wave in a medium is equal to 1 over the square root of some constant times epsilon sub naught times some constant times mu sub naught. Or other, in other words, it's 1 over the square root of epsilon times mu. Whatever the epsilon, the mu is in that medium. So in this case, they tell us that the relative permeability and the relative permittivity is equal to 2. So the presumption is that these constants are equal to 2. They're not clear about that because they say the relative, magnet the ma relative magnetic permeability and the relative permittivity, electric permittivity, what does that really mean? But in essence what they're saying is these constants are going to be equal to 2. So that means that the velocity is equal to 1 over the square root of 2 times epsilon sub naught times 2 times mu sub naught, which is equal to, of course, that would be 1 over the square root of 4 epsilon sub naught mu sub naught, which is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of epsilon sub naught mu sub naught. And in essence, the velocity therefore is equal to 1 over 2 times c, since 1 over the square root of epsilon sub naught mu sub naught is equal to the speed of light. So we're talking about half the speed of light. So therefore, we can say that the velocity is equal to 1 half times 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And I presume that they want you to know that because they don't give you any of that information. Half of that, that would be equal to 1.5 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. But then when we convert that to 10 to the 7 meters per second, that would be 15 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. And so the answer that would go in here is the number 15. And that is the correct answer. So, again, if you know the principle belonging to this particular problem, realizing that the velocity is equal to the speed of light divided by the index of refraction, or that the speed of light is 1 over the square root of epsilon sub naught times mu sub naught, and for the velocity in the medium, we need to multiply these two by the constant in this case, the constant 2, because the ratio is 2 to 1. And so, in essence, what we're looking for is epsilon and mu for that particular medium. So then the rest is just some arithmetic, and out pops the answer 15. And that is how we do that.